Okay, my friends, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, and this is a symmetry, dimensional particle physics from a joint Fermi lab, SLAC publication. Well, I contend that they don't understand particle physics at Fermi lab or any other place. And this is what particle physics is all about, is all that exists are electrons, and that's it. And an electron consists of an explosive portion and a dark matter part, a dark matter portion. It's a dipole. Back to back, and it's nothing more than a magnet. Back to back, they make a photon. Photons bounce off what they hit because they are complete. Electrons are not complete. They want to incorporate and invade what they hit. Now, coming from a red laser is light, but it's, it's in the photon variation. It's not in electrons. However, we can explode it into electrons, and then we can actually literally separate the electron polarities. I can show this, and I will. And it's done by shooting a red pulsed laser and creating exactly what they are going to um, say that they want to do, a photon-photon collider. Right now they have protons. They collide and they create garbage. We use light and it's only that and all we create is a black ball and a white ball and I will show you that. But first let me show you what they say. I'm not making this up. This is Fermi Lab, and here they go about eight things you got to know about light, and here's what light can do. Well, here's one of the first things. Photons can produce sho shock waves, which I show. I show this so clearly. Most light, obviously, you can't see it. Scientists perform measurements on single photons now. Well, that's nice. Particle accelerators are used in chemistry, but they're photons. Uh, well, photons, is, yes, that's what I'm using. Light is the manifestation of the four fundamental forces. Okay, I can go with that. Photons are easily created and destroyed. No question about that. When matter and antimatter annihilate, light is a byproduct. I disagree with that 100%. When, light, when matter and antimatter annihilate, that's not what happens. When two power hit, hit they had caused what I call push to shove. And that creates glow. And it is light. Light is the glow, and it's another push. So what it pushes into is other particles. Now let's just get to the point of where it goes right down here. It says you can collide photons to make particles. Yes, because all there is is photons eventually incorporate into something as electrons. You know, they eventually incorporate into other things, and that's all there is is photons and electrons. That's all that makes everything. They say that their own antiparticles, well, they have a muon and an electron built right into it, yes. The laws of physics govern photons, blah, 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 that's all nonsense. Here's the, here's the key. Some physicists are thinking about building a photon-photon collider, which would fire beams of only photons into a cavity full of other photons. You don't need to do that. You do exactly this. Once again, there's no mystery. There's only avoidance and denial. We shot high-speed red laser because it has to accelerate to get through the Venturi. And, and when it does, it creates a black ball and the white shower ball, which they call a muon neutrino and electron neutrino. That one doesn't do anything, really. That's a gravity, and it's dark matter, and it's everywhere. And the reason I say it's everywhere is because this turns, this is, these are attached. Just like I showed you before, they're in this configuration just like this, a black ball, white ball, black ball, white ball, back to back. That's a photon. When it concusses at the Venturi, or even when it hits anything, I would believe, it bounces and comes back out at a different frequency than it went in at, and then you get light, you see the light. Or if it, in this case, where we did it, it creates an absolute nightmare shower of particles. And then I believe these can be manipulated in the correct frequencies, all kinds of things you can do. Because you could change the, the Venturi dimensions, you can change the different materials. Copper has an ex a huge amount of extra electrons surrounding it. You can change the architecture of it. You can make it into a 
cylindrical venturi. You could do all kinds of things, which we don't have the facilities and resources to do. Rod Warren discovered the venturi, created an acceleration, and here it is. Here's the red laser light. There's the venturi, like I showed you right here. Boom, boom. The red laser light starts accelerating like crazy and it explodes at the venturi and the reason it does is this is nothing more than a photon photon collider these balls are huge and they come in like this and then they have to crush into that venturi now you could form this in all kinds of different ways and different materials different all kinds of things but the key is light can accelerate light is a particle light separates and light remember i showed you the photon here that's the photon up and down here it is right there just before it falls apart you see it as what its true nature is there it is right there there it is and then they explode at the venturi because the black ball does not want to stay with the white when the white explodes however let me show you something that really i think is the clincher that shows dark matter and the dark matter is everywhere and the reason I say it shows dark matter and dark matter is everywhere is that the dark matter was attached to the white which is the explosive portion the dark ball has now left the white ball the white ball is exploding through the venturi and these black balls are not the same ones that were attached to the white balls here they're coming back in down here but I think they're just laying around black balls everywhere and as soon as a white one shows up, it says, hey, I'll eat gone over here, I'll take you. And then they just, just hook back together. But in this distance right here, which is really a very tiny distance, is, um, I believe, is raw energy. And that might be able to be harvested. If you could channel that off somewhere before it, it had a chance to hook back up with the white particle and then send those particles into some kind of a receiver or or power grid or whatever you did with them. I'm saying that, that could be literally thousands of times more powerful than when it's attached. When it's attached, you've got a positive and a negative together. But when it's on its own and it's searching for one of these, when they come together, they might hit like an atomic bomb. They, you know, they may come back together real hard. I don't know, because they, they're never going to come apart unless you did something like this. They just normally are always going to be attached. An electron is going to be attached to its other component, which is that muon. And they're just with dark matter. And they're just always together. And they flow together, and they do this, and they, and that, and they you know, molecules are made and destroyed and burnt and acids and salts and all that stuff happens but still they never leave each other we got them leaving each other here we're in a whole new world here i don't know what that's all about but i think there's something to look at and i've been showing this for years and i can't get anybody to pay attention to literally anything i, I just don't know anymore i really don't know why Nobody has an interest in anything that that has substance. I mean, this is substance here. This is not. I'm not playing games. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I really don't. All right. I'm going to just show you something real quick. I got blocked off of uh, YouTube because of uh, copyright violation because I showed arts and entertainment showing a green glow in the sky and it just stayed there for quite a while you know 10 20 seconds at least and it was in the middle of an extreme electrical lightning interference all kind of stuff going on but what the real truth happened was there there was everything was just lightning and there was nothing unusual and then all of a sudden from the ground where there was a very extremely bright street light or something but it was glowing like this in the sky from the ground though which was a, a I believe it was a sodium bulb and it interfered with the oncoming electrons and all of a sudden it went zip, and this green sh glow showed up that's because these electrons were smashing into these electrons and fighting each other push to shove and whatever the frequency was, it created this. Now, I can't show you their, 
their footage of it because they blocked me so but that's what it showed and you can you know I don't know if you're ever going to see it but now I'm going to show you what an actual photon looks like and what it does it pushes to shove and I'm going to show you over there on the our um, stuff but what happens out of the sun particles come they can be big they can be small they're they can spin fast they can spin slow and also come from the moon too but the moon can only give you red light because the moon's frequency is is a reflective frequency this is like shooting all kinds of things out but they're particles they are particles and they're just like this and they spin like crazy a zillion miles an hour and then they hit the atmosphere and it showers down different colored radiation depending upon what the frequency and what the particle was that was emitted from the sun and where it hit on our atmosphere and that's why some days we get a lot of lightning storms we get uh, rain we get wind we get all that stuff because it's an interference between the external atmosphere and the oncoming atmosphere really it's, there's no vacuum in space there's another atmosphere out there but it's primarily electrons and photons and the tiniest solar wind particles that are are, are are emitted from the sun but they're not gigantic blocks and chunks very rare that it emits anything well I don't know this for a fact but it, 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 you can see some kind of huge magnetic waves but they normally pull everything back uh, other than the radiation light basically and they and the light can be extremely violent it's not just that's just not not like your bedroom light <laughs> that baby can shoot out some serious nasty blasts that can damage things I mean they take out solar grids you know they your um not solar grids but the uh, you know electric light grids and everything all of a sudden phew, we get hit with that magnetic pulse and it's it's just a wave of electrons really and it's got to be absorbed by something that's all it is that's all it is it's because something's going to absorb those electrons when it does it overloads the power grids or can do all kinds of things but it, it certainly excites the atmosphere obviously okay we all heard that light is a particle and a wave and that is correct the particle is in the center which I have shown you the wave is out here because it controls that region of magnetic influence as it comes flying through the air there's particle 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 wave 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 in front of each one of these and they concuss with this now I have to do this quickly let's uh, go back over to here and look at what it looks like accelerating as it's being pulled forward that particle is being pulled forward and that's where it separates these particles but it, this makes it it's a wave which we saw and that's the particle being sucked out of it that creates the wave that shows it's a particle it accelerates it has mass I don't think anything written in, in physics right now is correct because they don't understand electron flood theory. The concussion here is sending waves back. It's called reverse electromagnetic radio, you know, uh, EMF, reverse EMF, electromotive force. You see these waves coming back here? Those are boom, 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 bounce, bounce, pushing back against. These are a ton of different waves here, not just this one. This one here is going right through the center, but they're all over the place. And that pushes back against them. Whenever there's push to shove, there is glow. Wherever there's glow, there's energy. Wherever there's energy, you can do work with it. Have a nice day. I love you all. You know, I think I said that I went to uh, University of Geneva. I, I've gone to all kinds of places. It's free. Coursera. This is what I've been telling everybody. Don't go pay for college. You go anywhere you want for free. Literally, look at this. This is... Uh, they what they do and it's fabulous because they send you they say we look and seeing what you like and here's what we're recommending for you nuclear reactor physics basics well there's that then there's quantum optics two photons and more they're starting to try to understand photons and I think that's because of our work I, as a matter of fact I'm I'm taking that um, electro fields magnetic fields quantum physics you know, wave simulations, statistical thermodynamics. I've taken all this stuff. 
you know, not these particular courses at these places, but I've, I've, I've gone through all of that stuff many, many times. And I think I now understand much more than they do. And I will stand in front of anyone and show my work and my theory of electron flood theory, which simplifies everything to that. 1837 of the electrons, which are dark matter, and the electron explosive part makes a proton, 1837 of them. All atoms are is bigger and bigger snowballs, and those are the snowflakes. All right, so it's time to look into this. I can stand behind my work, and I can stand in front of anybody. Nobody can tell me that I should go away because I'm an idiot. I might be an idiot, but I'm not going to go away because they can't show me my errors. Show me my errors. I, I, I am fed up with people just insulting me. I'm done with that. Don't insult me unless you can insult me by saying you're an idiot because here is exactly why you're an idiot. And here's what you did wrong. And here's what the reality is. Because I've already done that to you people. So how do you like it?